Hey fellas. Welp. I'm slowly but surely getting back to swing of things from Thanksgiving so I can have things working through the pipe for Christmas. Drinking some very good game fuel here. And with that in mind, time for another gaming vlog. I mean, most gonna be focused on what I'm playing, but it will include a couple snippets of game news that at me personally. A lot, so let's get started. Okay, so one piece has been making the rounds lately is an interview that the Guardian held with Pokemon Company. He, he, he and their current, current president and president Takahata Utsunomiya, uh, best known for his his snappy fashion sense and no nonsense and approach. I mean, oh, is it COO? My mistake. Yes, and. He intends, something that stood out, like, is the goal is to keep the franchise alive for hundreds of years. Again, his words, not mine. And I personally figure this stage, I mean, it did seem to be headed towards that direction. It's something that old ages kind of brand, the same thing as like Dragon Ball or Mario or Star Wars, always among many others. And as for the snippet regarding the Generation 9 situation, it's, even though not everyone might be satisfied with it, I think it's, the, I still believe it's the right way to go about it, I mean, to, I mean, to not openly address the more hostile sections of the you know, fan base, and even someone who likes it, I am willing to acknowledge that, as there are some who didn't, but I'm also... While acknowledging that it is possible to critique Hikit without not being hostile about it and and that the line between him and the two is just so thin these days you had to be very careful about it. Still, some food for thought uh, as we are now pondering potential Generation 10 and Remix Generation 5 as well as this proposed successor to Switch, which I'm going to be starting with for the base console. Yeah, as previously stated, I have been very much enjoying the remake of Super Mario RPG, which also been him reviewing and selling quite well. I mean, oh, I would say, I'm also practicing for the next season of Splatoon 3. I mean, and a whole slew of new weapons and gear ahead. I'm especially looking forward to who uh, the returning stage in the first game, as well as the new stage, Age Robo Rom N, of course. There's also another game trial just started of uh, this one, one called Fay Farm. I mean. Even with the memes about like being like a farm center last year, which I did not really buy into on the grounds of, grounds of like the Tears of the Kingdom and Golden Ivios alone, alone, it's definitely something. I will definitely, I might consider it or tell you more or as I continue playing it. You know, to me, it's good until the 28th. This month, I might actually need that long to form a larger opinion on it. What I can form a larger opinion on is that, on t in addition to 1080 coming to who the AZ Nintendo 64 online service, this, the, the another one that lead off the third wave of titles in December is going to be one I have a lot of vision for. Rare's Jet Force Gemini. I mean, it's definitely probably one of the more underrated shooters, I would say. I mean, given how most people seem to play and remember finally Goldeneye Perfect Dark, as they should, 
episode, and despite what Austin might say, it's really enjoyable, I would argue. I don't have any formal opinion on the on that and GoldenEye being on the 18 and up Switch Online app in Japan and on the grounds that one, both Tajiri 18 here and two, that Sero, as has been noted and lampshaded by both Sakurai and Hideki Kamiya among many others, tends to be a bit tighter in its regulations than it is here. In another more juicy reveal, I mean, a former developer from Rockstar, or before or the publisher had, had taken down, revealed a few details about previous games, not just about how Grand Theft Auto Vice City was originally going to be an expansion for three before it was agreed into a full long game, but also for an intriguing game called Agents, which is going to be a PSV exclusive, if of even integrating messaging technology before the game ultimately got cancelled. I mean, uh, someone who was reading coverage of it online and in print at the time, it always intrigued me, and even more so, ever since it disappeared. And even the developer himself pointed out that he thought not time has passed, but he was proven wrong. On... Um, he said he'd be winding down on the blog as a whole before he said, maybe I'll try again in 10 years, which should make a decent enough transition to talking about what's I have been playing on the PlayStation front. Oh, that's good. On top of the legacy titles, those that have on PS Plus Premium, with particular emphasis on, on Jet Moto, I mean... I did try a little bit of Grandia, but I, it wasn't really my cup of tea. He, one I have been particularly enjoying I mean, is Sifu, which I got a little version of as part of like a Black Friday deal. And also oh, how I had really enjoyed the trial version of it before. It's still a very unique take on a beat-up action title where... Every time you respawn, you age at least one year here. And it's also not when you just smash buttons to get through either. You need to you know, carefully consider how to, wait, how to approach certain encounters. It even has some Souls-like elements to it, even. Even where how you can actually upgrade your, your stats through you know, concurrent encounters and even access new areas. As you couldn't on previous playthroughs either. There's also oh, Roller Coaster Tycoon Adventures Deluxe, which I tried trial of. I mean, which I mean, some people like seem to like that one. Many others do not. I just think it's okay personally. Hey, beats that Golem game, and oh boy, that's gonna be a doozy. Yeah, I've also been getting into My Hero Ultra Rumble a little bit. I mean, especially since the new season just started and added an endeavor to the list of multiple characters. And even with the monetization, and I have been offered... The game itself is actually pretty interesting, even as someone who's not really into Battle Royale titles. I mean, it's... I mean, you have, like, the superpowers for a lot of ranged attacks, but also, oh, you can engage in direct fisticuffs after you're so inclined, especially with finishers. So, basically, if some of you are into the, into the stress material or are missing the short-lived Rumbleverse, I would definitely... I recommend giving this one a shot, man. And also have Parappa the Rapper 2 lined up, I mean, not quite as good as the first one, but I'll take it. And one curious data mine has found not only the Thrillville titles, which are not quite as good as Roller Coaster Kaiken ones personally, but also 
bowl games to slay the common legacy titles, the tie-in to the show Buzz Lightyear Star Command, and where actually pretty entertaining show and decent game to go with it. I mean, for those who didn't see it you know, back in the day, basically, hey, both the show as well as like the feature like pilot movie were a way of, like, kind of like in hindsight, test one for the mouse's ownership of Star Wars where they bought out Lucasfilm. Kind of like that. Short version, especially. Hey. That'll be all for now, and I will see you all very soon with my look at the Hunger Games Games Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes. That'll be all for now. Take care, everyone. Mm-hmm.